Hi everybody, this is the first video which is supposed to be covering uh, the material that uh, we would have been working through on Tuesday, February 7th. And we're going to uh, go through all the problems from the homework. Uh, I split it up into several videos and at the end of each video you'll be able to select the next exercise that you'd like to look at. So let's start with exercise one, which asks us to uh, find the local extrema of the function x cubed minus 3x plus y squared. So in the section, you learn that uh, you're going to be able to find local mins and local maxes by finding the critical points. And uh, one of the uh, places you're going to find critical points is when the gradient is zero. Uh, the other place is when the uh, gradient is not defined, uh, which won't be an issue here since we're dealing with uh, polynomial in x and y. So let's find the, the gradient of f. So remember the gradient of f is going to mean uh, that you're looking for the partial derivatives first in the x direction and then in the y direction. So clearly looking at this in the x direction you get 3x squared minus 3 and then in the y direction you simply get 2y. Now we need to see where the gradient is going to be 0. So this just means we need to see where 3x squared minus 3 is 0 and where 2y is, is 0. Of course, this bottom one's really easy. 2y is going to be 0 when y is 0. And the top one, uh, only marginally more difficult, that'll happen if x is plus or minus 1. So the two places we'll get critical points are going to be at 1, 0 and negative 1, 0. So those are our critical points. And next thing we need to do is test whether these critical points are going to be local maxes, local mins, saddle points, uh, or neither. Uh, so to do that we're going to use our second derivative test which tells us well we need to build this this number d which we get by looking at the uh, second order partial derivatives uh, first in the xx direction then the yy and then the the xy. Well strictly speaking we could do xy and yx but by Clairaut's theorem they're the same so we just do one of them and square it. And then, depending on if d is positive or negative, we'll get either local mins and maxes or saddle points. And if d turned out to be zero, well, then the deriv second derivative test just doesn't tell us anything. So let's compute uh, all these guys out. So if we take two partial derivatives in the x direction, now only this term gives us anything. It gives us a 6x. Uh, the yy partial will just give us a 2. And the xy partial actually gives us just zero. So when we compute our d, well, there'll be two of them, one at 1, 0, our first critical point, one at negative 1, 0. So at 1, 0, x is equal to 1, and so we just get 6 times 2 minus 0 squared, which would be 12. So it'll be in one of these positive cases. And, well, if we replace x equals 1 by x equals negative 1, the only difference is this 6 becomes a negative 6, and the d equals negative 12. So in fact, in this second case, since the d is negative, we know we're going to get a saddle point. And in the first case, well, the d was positive, so we have to check f x x. And in that case, x is 1, f of x x is positive, so we get a local min. So in total, we get a local min at 1, 0, and a saddle point at negative 1, 0. All right, so if you want to see a video for one of the other exercises, just click on it on this page.